I've tried many different productivity methods over the years, and one thing that stands out to me no matter which tools I'm using is that having my calendar and to-do list integrated is extremely beneficial to my productivity. Nothing highlights this pain more than having to use Microsoft Outlook and its built-in tasks at work with no access to Microsoft To Do. Outlook without a task app is a nightmarish experience that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. So what then is the argument against it? Well, fundamentally, they are two separate apps. But as knowledge work has progressed, the lines have become a little bit more blurred. Calendar used to be for timed events. Meetings are a great example. They have a start and end time and you can slot them around throughout your day and they fit nicely. In a way, they are still the heartbeat of many companies. Tasks is just a list of things that need to get done. Sure, you can prioritize your task list, but in a lot of cases, this was just a simple piece of paper with a bunch of different stuff written on it that you needed to do and no time associated with it. As an individual contributor, you could have a list of 10, 20, 30, 40 things that you needed to get done at any point in time. And you'd pick the most important ones because at the end of the day, you'd have 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 more things to add to the list that need to get done as well. The to-do list is never ending. Slowly then, task lists evolved into things like scrum boards, Kanban boards, or any other trendy name that you want to give it, where teams tried to map out every single thing that they needed to do within a given period of time. These things were then prioritized by a project lead or scrum master. While I have been on a few successful scrum teams, I was never super enthusiastic about the situation and would rather manage my own priorities and my own list. Enter the combo of the calendar and the to-do list. Outside of nine to five, my time is extremely limited. At work, I have clear meetings, I know the goals, I have milestones to hit, and day-to-day -day know what I need to be doing to drive those forward and have the team be successful. Outside of work, though, I have a lot of things that I want to do, and not nearly enough time to do all of them. Time blocking is one approach that I've used to help narrow in on what I need to be doing and when. So things that I like doing, like working out, stretching, riding my bike, or skateboarding, have general time slots throughout the week. I know that certain days I'll be lifting weights somewhere between 30 minutes and an hour. Certain days I'll be doing cardio somewhere between 30 minutes and an hour. So I do block off these times throughout the week. This helps me see the rest of my available time to do things like create for YouTube, come up with new video ideas, film the videos, shooting videos, editing videos, taking pictures, traveling, and so on. My recurring tasks show up in my calendar as well as all day events, so I have a clear bird's eye view of what's going on during the day and which tasks I think I need to be doing on any given day. This way, I'm not scheduling 15 personal tasks on a day that I also have a doctor's appointment and also I'm going to be walking the dog and also going to be working out. On days like that, I might need to choose one or two mission critical items that I need to work on. Everything else gets pushed to a different day. It seems even Apple would agree that this is a helpful thing to do because in iOS 18, Apple calendars and Apple reminders are getting an integration. You'll be able to see your Apple reminders alongside your calendar, something that I've been using Fantastical to do for a few years now. I'm excited to try out Apple's implementation of this, but again, using Fantastical, this habit that I've formed to look at to-dos side by side with my calendar isn't going anywhere anytime soon, for me at least. If you'd like to dive deeper into my Apple productivity system, you can check out this video here. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Later. Later.